Guided by our founding principles, Qatar is distinguishing itself as a symbol of compassion and generosity in response to some of the world's worst human disasters. Countries reeling from the effects of natural disasters and ongoing conflict have come to recognize and appreciate the depth of our concern for them in the time of their greatest need. The life-changing stories of these men, women and children are found across the globe. They all share a precious bond of human survival and of a country called Qatar that turned their tragedy into hope. On August 23, 2005, Hurricane Katrina crashed into America's Gulf Coast, bringing with it a six-meter storm surge that broke through flood defenses. It devastated the historic city of New Orleans and a once vibrant city was left to pick up the pieces. We think of our lives pre-Katrina, post-Katrina. I mean, that's just the way we live. I was at my grandmother's house after school and I told my grandma, I said, we gotta get out of here. I said, I don't feel good about this one. I feel like we might not be okay. Ariane and her family took refuge from the storm in the state of Mississippi, more than 350 kilometers away. We thought we were saved Monday after the hurricane when they said, oh, we're doing pretty good here in New Orleans. And then here we are, we find out that the levee broke and there's water everywhere. It was very, very depressing because then you also think of your family that did stay. And I actually did have a cousin that stayed and she was up on the roof for two weeks. The lowest point for me was not having a dollar in my pocket. I always keep a dollar in my pocket. And here I am, this hurricane has happened. I'm stuck out in Mississippi. It was only a matter of time before it started to really come apart for us. The destruction and chaos from the flooding proved catastrophic. And within hours of Katrina making landfall, entire neighborhoods had been washed away. Okay, it's over. You know, everything that I had is gone. It's gone. I'm not gonna get it again. You don't want to have to change your whole life. You don't want to have to say goodbye to all the things that you have. You don't want to have to give up your house. But unfortunately, you're forced. You know, it's, it's a disaster that you couldn't do anything about. School was a huge topic for me right after we realized we would be in Mississippi for a while. When Katrina hit, it was like dropping a bomb on this campus. Everybody scattered to the four winds. Six feet of water all over this place. Uh, Everybody else would have given up. Uh, but I had a team of 40 people who spent four and a half months, and we got back on this campus as if nothing had happened. The people of Qatar were some of the first to offer help to the victims of Hurricane Katrina. One of the first to benefit was Ariane, who received a scholarship to help her back into school. I felt very fortunate for it because at the time I had no idea how we were going to pay for me to finish school. This gift uh, from Qatar was immense. The people that each one of those graduates will touch, it's like throwing a rock in the water and a ripple effect. And so it, you, you can't measure it. You can sense it and feel it, but you can't measure it. If I had not received the Qatar Katrina grant, I'm not sure if I would have been able to continue. The Qatar Katrina Fund has helped many students like Ariane. It is also helping to finance a new school of pharmacy at Xavier. Across the region, several housing schemes are nearing completion and the fund is also being used to establish and maintain a number of vital healthcare projects. The gift from the state of Qatar has been really remarkable and transforming for us as a community. Literally thousands of people who have no other choice for health care have been able to get health care because of this. On behalf of all of the recipients of the Cutter Katrina grant, we would like to say thank you. Can't say thank you enough.
On October the 8th, 2005, a huge earthquake struck Pakistan's remote Azad Kashmir district. Within seconds, buildings disappeared as the earth split open and swallowed them whole. When the tremors finally subsided, more than 75,000 people were dead, including Sada Rafiq's young son and two of his nieces. بس ہمت تو خدا نہیں دینی تھی لیکن جو زخمی میری بازلا میرے پاس تھی انہوں نے مجھے کہا کہ ہمت کرو یہ ساری فیملی تمہارے ذمہ ہے اس کو بچانا ہے تمہیں ہم نے جنازوں کو دفن کرنا تھا اس کے بعد یہ تھا کہ زخمیوں کو پہنچانا ہے جہاں بھی کہیں میری دو بتیجیاں اور بچہ جب ہم دفن کر رہے تھے اور اس کے ساتھ میری دو تین اور رشتے دار جو اس وقت دفن کیے جا رہے تھے ان کے لیے کفن نہ تھا ہم نے چادریں لپیٹ کر دی اور ریسپونس ٹو دس انورمس ٹریجڈی ہیپن کوئکلی اینڈ ایڈ واز امیڈیٹلی پلیجڈ ون اف دا فرسٹ فیسلٹیز ٹو بی سیٹ اپ واز اے فیلڈ ہاسپٹل ہائی ان دا کشمیر ماؤنٹینز The hospital offered the only chance of survival for thousands of seriously injured people, and soon it was treating over 500 patients a day. One of those patients was Sadar Rafiq himself, who collapsed at the hospital gates with a heart attack. Shahzadi was a visitor in the hospital. We had to take a lot of people to get together with them. We had to say that if we had to take a lot of people آپ اسپتال کی ہمیں سہولت دے رہی ہیں تو مہربانی کر کے ہمارے بچوں کے لیے ہمارے بچے بیکاری بن جائیں گے اگر آپ ان کے لیے کوئی تعلیم کا بندوبست کر دیں تو یہ آپ کی بڑی مہربانی ہوگی انہوں نے فوری طور پہ یہ دو سکولوں کا کہ یہ ایک مہینے کے اندر یہ دو سکول بنائیں اور اس کے بعد جن جن علاقوں کی ہم نے نشاندہی کی تو انہوں نے پورا کہا کہ سروے کر کے مجھے بتاؤ جتنے سکول بھی ہیں اور یہ ساروں کا میں اعلان کر کے جا رہی ہوں In all, 19 schools have been built, all fully equipped with libraries and newly trained staff. And to create a lasting legacy for the region, a permanent hospital is being built on land donated by Sadar Rafiq. Here are میں شہزادی قطر قطر حکومت کا اور قطر ریڈ کریسنٹ کا جتنے بھی لوگ یہاں آئے کام کرنے والے ڈاکٹرز کا میں سب کا شکریہ ادا کرنا چاہتا ہوں تاکہ میں ان تک یہ پیغام پہنچانا چاہتا ہوں کہ آپ کی مہربانیوں سے یہ علاقہ اب دوبارہ جگ مگا اٹھا ہے اسی بھی شکریہ قطر Few people would have known of the remote town of Banda Aceh, Indonesia, but on December the 26th, 2004, it became synonymous with one of the worst natural disasters in recorded history. A severe earthquake struck under the Indian Ocean, 150 kilometers off the coast of Banda Aceh, spawning tsunamis that claimed lives as far away as Africa. Di pagi harinya kita memang masih tidur dalam keadaan tidur, lalu. Ini terasa kok goyang soalnya kayaknya seperti mama anak-anak ini menggoyangkan tempat tidur soalnya membangunkan saya sudah itu saya lihat lu kok ada memang goyangnya goncangan terlalu keras itu. Confusion was replaced by fear as the first wave struck the shore. When the second wave hit, they knew they were in desperate trouble. Suhali held on to his family with all of his strength and prayed they would survive. Tapi seperti ibarat yang saya membayangkan kucing membawa anak. Saya gigit anak di mana dekat leher tu, baju. Saya tenteng dia dengan mulut saya, lalu berenang berenang. 
seolah-olah memang macam-macam kita ini tidak ada harapan lagi hidup. Memang ngeri kalau kita bayangkan. Nyatanya tidak begitu. Tuhan masih memberi umur panjang. Sesudah apa lepas dari air baru temu. Maksudnya di mana anak, di mana suami. Dua jam kemudian saya jumpa sama anak yang laki. Baru empat jam kemudian berjumpa dengan suami sama anak yang kecil. Ya, oh, saya jumpa saya sama mereka, sama anak-anak saya. Saya memang terasa terharu. Rasanya mereka berdua itu masih hidup. Dan sempat mengeluarkan air mata di situ. Saya lupakan air mata ketika melihat mereka. Rupanya kalian masih selamat ya. Most of the city had been destroyed. This boat was ripped from its moorings and dumped five kilometers inland. Our response to this disaster has focused on providing houses for people who lost their homes. Slowly, this village is welcoming its first residents and normal life is beginning to return as hospitals, schools and markets are rebuilt. His new home represents a new beginning for Sahali. Hingga sekarang ini baru ini kali ini kita menikmati rumah seperti bantuan mereka. Ya alhamdulillah mana ini baiknya daripada membangun sendiri itu memang tidak sanggup kita memikirkan itu dan pemberian orang ini kita terima apa adanya. The tsunami stole his livelihood, but now he is able to save up to buy a new fishing boat by making nets with his wife and by catching freshwater fish in a borrowed river boat. Tapi untuk sekarang ini kita lagi mengumpulkan dana sedikit demi sedikit untuk kita usahakan supaya dapat membeli speedboat baru. Usaha kita memang rencana. But it is the sea where Suhali belongs and one day he hopes to return. Ibnatu bintu Zubayl tuhayyik wa ba'dul kalimat tuhdik. Qissata harb wa intisar. قصة دمار وأعمار حرب دمار قصف وصواريخ ملاحم الدوم The residents of Bint Jabal have lived through violence before but in the summer of 2006 when hostilities began again the fighting was so intense that most of the city was reduced to rubble بلحظة من اللحظات أن الموت جاي صوبنا لأن الموت كان ناطرنا على الباب Caught in the crossfire with nowhere to run, Dr. Ibrahim and his family took refuge in his basement and prayed the bombing would soon be over. فيها عقص ودبان كتير وروائح كريهة جدا ما في كهرباء ما في ماي ما في حمامات واشتد القصف بس نحن الخوف رافقنا الخوف دخل بدمنا الخوف لبسنا ثوب لبسنا للخوف كان رفيقنا وصديقنا وحسسنا بكل معاني وهذا الواقع اللي احنا كنا عايشينه يعني بلحظة من اللحظات لأنه كانت كل واحد مننا نقول للتاني يلا تحملوا تحملوا ماشي الحال هلأ ساعة بتمرق ساعة بتمرق 12 ساعة مرق علينا لا نمنا لا أكلنا لا شربنا أكيد ما فيها المسائل كلها موجودة The nightmare lasted for 21 days until a ceasefire was announced and Dr. Ibrahim and his family were able to walk to safety through their devastated town لما طلعت من البيت شفت العالم الخارج شو فيه والدمار اللي كان موجود ما فيه أخر اللحظة اللي تأثرت فيها كثير واقعا يعني وانا بكي بس اسمع عن جد يعني لما شفت الناس اللي ظاهره من الجبال وهي اشباه الناس كانت واقعا اشباه البني ادمين اشباه البشر انا طلعت بحقي على المرايه طلعت باطفالي طلعت بالناس اللي معي كثير بكيت وكثير هي الناس ما لها ذنب نحن نسمع عن الحروب بس مش بهذا الوقع اللي شفناه تشوف ناس وكأنها طالعة من القبور 
تشوف ناس باشكال مش طبيعيه تشوف ناس تيا بمزا فلان يقول لك انا امي ماتت هون او شخص يقول لك هيدي العائله دمر البيت عليها The people of Qatar have brought life back to the city. Schools were needed, hospitals were needed, and thousands of houses needed rebuilding. Hundreds of mosques and churches across the region had been damaged or destroyed. Funds from Qatar enabled them to be rebuilt with great care and artistry. Soon, a new market will be built. إنه مدينة تقصف بأعنف بأعنف الأسلحة أن تبقى حي، هيدي شغلة كثير مهمة جدا، أكيد نحمد الله على هذا الموضوع يعني بالنتيجة إنه نحن بقينا صامدين وبقينا أقوياء. Just as the fighting was hand to hand, street by street, so has been the reconstruction, and brick by brick, the town is being reborn. وبلشوا بالمساعدات المادية لحتى نبلش نبني بيوتنا من أول جديد حتى نستمر بحياتنا كما عن جديد بأسماء آيات الحب والتقدير والشكر والامتنان وللشعب القطري ولدولة قطر وهذا العمل اللي قاموا فيه هذا عمل كبير لا ينتسى وهذا محفور بقلوبنا حمدا لحمد أتى فعمر شكرا يا صاحب السمو ولدولتك قطر Grounded in values of faith and partnership our people are demonstrating the true spirit of Arab culture and tradition by serving as an example of compassion to those whose lives have been shaken by crisis and disaster. My name is Ariane Gilead and I survived Hurricane Katrina. My name is Sardar Muhammad Rafi Khan. I am a person who is a person who is a person in Azad Kashmir. My name is Suherli. I am a person who is a person who is a person who is a أنا الدكتور إبراهيم الصباغ عشت العدوان الأسرائيلي خلال حرب تموز عام 2006